Hi, welcome to the Movie Blog. My name is John Campia, and this is my quick three minute review of the new film, Transformers. Now, the Transformers follows the story of Sam Witwicky, a young teenager who gets his first car and unknowingly finds himself caught up in an intergalactic struggle, an age old battle between the Autobots and Decepticons, an alien robot race who are fighting over an item known as the AllSpark, a secret and mysterious device that gives the Transformers their life. Now, we have been looking forward to this film around the movie blog for years, ever since they announced Transformers. If you're like me, you grew up playing with the Transformers, and the idea of seeing a live action film with these guys on screen transforming has made you wet your pants more than once over the past couple of years. So here it is in a summer filled with disappointments. Would Transformers disappoint? The answer to that question is absolutely not. This film delivers in spades from the get-go. Now a quick note should be mentioned here right off the get-go. The Transformers is not Schindler's List, nor is it Shakespeare. What it thrives in and what it does not thrive in are clearly distinguished from one another, and the film does what it aims to do. You may love food, but if you love ice cream, it's a, you look for different things in ice cream than you look for in steak. In steak, you're not looking for nice creamy texture. To each their own, each thing brings different things to the table. For what the Transformers is, a big popcorn summer blockbuster, it delivers exactly what it needs to deliver. The best action I've seen in a movie in years. The absolutely best visual effects in the history of motion pictures. Some great humor, some endearing characters, and more importantly, it made it believable that it brought these transforming aliens who turned from cars and trucks into giant robots who beat the crap out of each other to vivid life. The film has its weaknesses. One of the characters, for instance, is this movie's version of Jar Jar Binks. It's a little Decepticon character by the name of Frenzy. Unlike Jar Jar Binks, the character is needed, and you see that in the film, that he does play an important role. I just didn't like the character himself fulfilling that role. He became pretty annoying. I didn't like the way he talked, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Also, some people will complain that there are there is a little bit too much human interaction on the screen. Personally, I didn't find that. I thought the human interaction, the human elements of the movie were nice little breathers from the all-out balls to the wall action that happened a lot. But some people did mention that, and I thought I should say it here. The characters were terrific. Optimus Prime. Gorgeous, beautiful, he completely worked. Not only did he look fantastic, but he brought that sense of a paternal overseer, a caregiver, if you will, a guy who's like a father figure to humanity. He really brought that to life. Of course, getting the guy, uh, Peter Cullen, who played the original voice of uh, Optimus Prime in the cartoon helped that an awful lot. I thought all the voice characters were great. As a matter of fact, I thought the Bumblebee character, who we found out early on through news leaks, only speaks through a radio voice, like sound bites from radio, I thought that was going to come off as really cheesy. But as my co-host Doug Nagy pointed out, it actually came across as quite funny. Shia LaBeouf as the main character in this film, the main human character at any rate, uh, Sam Witwicky, was fantastic. I was very worried about how well he would do, whether he could carry this film as a human character, but he does. Now having said that, even though Sam is the main human character, make no mistake about it. The Transformers is about the giant friggin' robots. They are the focus of this movie, they are the center of attention on this movie, and it never takes away. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more dialogue between the Transformers, but having said that, I cannot complain for one minute about how much screen time they had and how much action they delivered. Overall, Transformers gives a dynamite movie. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Get out and see it this weekend as it opens. For the Movie Blog, I'm John Campia.